Javon Kinlaw, you guys, as we all know, is a linebacker who just got selected by the San Francisco 49ers in the NFL draft. But his story is incredible. How's everybody doing today? It's Sports Hello Back with another video. Today, I'm going to talk about Javon Kinlaw and his story to the NFL. Before I start, though, make sure to subscribe, hit the bell, and leave a like on this video. You guys are getting really close to 400 subscribers, so if you're new out here, you know what to do. Hit that sub button. But without further ado, let's get into it. Javon Kinlaw's story is probably the most inspirational NFL story you'll ever hear. As a child, Kinlaw was homeless and would often stay at his friends' houses or basements because his mom lost her job and the apartment they were living in. For a few months, Kinlaw's mom, Lisa James, was broke, so Kinlaw lived in his neighbor's basement, which sounds way worse than it seems. The family would either, either stay with friends or stay at a house that had no electricity or water. The way the family would take a shower is crazy. Kinlaw said, quote, We had a gas stove. We would light the stove with a little mattress something, get a tall pot, boil the water, mix it with some cold water, put it in a bucket, take it upstairs. Kinlaw would sometimes go to school with the Washington, D.C.'s Metro. And yes, you heard me right. He would sometimes go to school. The reason why he wouldn't go to school at times was because he would stay on the train the whole day to stay warm. Kinlaw said, quote, I'd stop at CVS, steal me a couple of snacks, put them in a duffel bag, and then just keep riding. Apparently, he would stay in the train from 7 to 8 in the morning until 3.15. That's basically a full day of school that he is spending in a train to be warm. When Kinlaw was in ninth grade, his mom, Lisa James, decided to make him move out and live with his father in South Carolina because she wanted him to have more opportunities to be successful and be in a neighborhood that wasn't violent. Kinlaw would attend and join a football team because he was already six feet and 270 pounds as a teenager. Kinlaw had fun with football, but he had a new problem. Living with his father was a huge problem because he had issues with drinking. To solve this problem, he decided to live with the family of a football teammate. While all of this was happening, Kinlaw's size and athletic ability attracted college recruiters, which meant they wanted him to play college football. Kin Kinlaw said, quote, they said they were offering me a scholarship. I was like, what are you offering me? I didn't really know what that was. Speaking of school, Kinlaw had huge problems with it. He would often skip classes and his grades were slipping. Huge colleges were losing interest in him. Kinlaw said, quote, they really didn't talk me into it. I was homeless at the time. When coach said Mississippi, I really didn't know where I was going or what I was doing. But free food, free bed, why not? Kinlaw got his GED, which is a test he takes to improve on your education and would start do doing coursework in college. In the fall of 2017, Kinlaw would finally land at South Carolina and play for the football team. In December, the Associated named Kinlaw a first-team All-Starter on the publication's 2019 All-American squad, also saying he's one of the best players at his position in college football. Kinlaw had another goal accomplished, being a first-round pick in the NFL. Then, on April 24, 2020, the San Francisco 49ers would draft Javon Kinlaw. This story is so inspirational in so many ways. And the reason this is so inspirational, I mean, it's because this man came from literally nowhere. This man was a home. He was homeless and would often have to live at people's houses. And he would stay on the train the whole day to stay warm. I mean, seriously, this is crazy. But what this proves is to never give up and just keep following your dreams. And... Kinlaw didn't join the football team until high school. Normally, some people who want to become an NFL player, they start a little younger than that. But Kinlaw started playing NFL, started playing football in high school. And I guess you could say he had a lucky start because the man was six feet and weighed almost 270 pounds. But now Kinlaw's dream has officially been accomplished because he even said himself he wanted to get paid a lot of money. We're talking millions here. And the 49ers, I'm sure, are going to offer him that. So, Kinlaw, who started off with his mom who was homeless and lost her job and lost her apartment. Then when he went, then when he was in ninth grade, would go to North Car would go to South Carolina 
to live with his father who had issues with drinking to then after having problems in school to then being drafted by an NFL team. That is going to be it for today's video, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new. I will see you all next time. I'm out.